Now, Bible study, write this down, Bible study takes the veil away. Bible study takes the veil away. When there is proper Bible study, you are delivered from the veil. Hebrews 11.1 1. Let's take some veils away. Now faith is the substance of things so far, the evidence of things not seen. And people use this verse for material things, for cars, for houses. But that's not, that's an abuse of the Bible, of that verse. So what are the things? When he said things, he's not talking about material things. Faith is the substance of things. He's not dealing with material things. Abraham had material things, but he was hoping for these things. So if it was material, Abraham would not be hoping for these things. So he's not dealing with material things here. Look at verse 2. For by it the elders obtained a good report. Verse 3. Through faith we understand that the aeons, A-I-O-N, the walls, the aeons, or the circle of time. The aeons, the world, or the circle of time was framed by the word of God so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. Abraham had his own time. Abel had his own time. Noah had his own circle. Enoch had his own circle. So all... Mm, I want to communicate now. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Come, come, come. One, two, three, four, five. Come. <clears throat> Please stand and face the congregation. By faith, Abel. By faith, Noah. By faith, Enoch. By faith, Abraham. By faith, Moses. Hebrews gives us a chronicle of this man who functioned by faith in the Old Testament. And Hebrews 11 is a summary of faith men in the Old Testament. People that believed in the prophecy of the coming of Christ, whether in types, shadows, prophecies, or promises. Now, we understand through faith that the world of Abel, the world, I gave you names. Enoch, Dagodabea, <laughs> Kilobush. <laughs> the world of Enoch, the world of Abraham, the world of Noah, and the world of Moses. So, Moses had a circle of time. Noah had a circle of time. Abraham had a circle of time. All of them had different circles of time. When he said we understand through faith that the worlds were framed, what he's talking about, they are circles. His world is not his world. 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 Not his world. They were different worlds, different circles of time, but all of their worlds put together were framed by one word of God. What collaborated their world is one word. The message of Christ. So, in the world of Moses, there was Christ. In the world of Noah, there was Christ. In the world of Abraham, there was Christ. In the world of Enoch, there was Christ. In the world of Abel, there was, there was Christ. Alright? There were other things. But what brought their worlds together to frame is the message of Christ that he believed in, 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 irrespective of the different times and circles that they were in, there was only one thing that tied their walls together. It is the message of Christ. I don't know if I'm explaining something here. We understand through faith that the aeons, the walls, 
We are framed by the word of God. That the things that do appear were made hmm, of things that do not appear. Follow me, follow me. Follow me. It's too much water flowing. The word of Moses. Moses. The things that do appear. What were the things that appeared in the word of Moses? Blood. You're following me very well. The brazen serpent were the things that were seen. And they were pointers to the things that are not seen. They didn't see Christ, but they saw Christ in the brazen serpent. Noah. Noah. They didn't see Christ, but they saw the ark. Abraham. They didn't see Christ, but Isaac on Mount Moriah. Enoch. Enoch. They didn't see Christ, but Enoch by faith, please God. Abel, they didn't see Christ, but the animal sacrifice that he brought to the altar, by faith, he saw Christ. So, the things that were not seen, which was Christ, was given to them in their different times, in types and shadows. And those things are the things that framed their world and qualified them to be in Hebrews chapter 11, which was the chronicle of men of faith in the Old Testament. I don't know if I just said something here. You guys can sit now. <clears throat> Let me get back to work. So now, look at that Hebrews 11, 3. Through faith, we understand that the walls were framed by the word of God, the aeons, so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. The next verse. By faith, Abel, he now breaks it down. By faith, Abel, verse 5. By faith, Enoch, Verse 7. 7. By faith, Noah. 9. By faith, he saw John. 8. By faith, Abraham. 11. Through faith, also Sarah. 12. 13. These all died in faith. This all, this all died in faith. They didn't die in Christ. They died in faith. Today people die who are in Christ, in Christ. They died in faith. In our time, people who are born again die in Christ. You didn't hear that. All of them died in faith. Because they have not seen. The walls were framed by things that do not appear. So they died in faith. We die in Christ. They who died in faith rose when Jesus rose and they have gone with Christ never to rise again. Those who died in Christ will rise again when mortality puts on immortality. And they will rise first before us who are alive.